We are not on the writing staff, and we see ourselves as purveyors of solutions. We don't tell the writers, you can't do this, because the purpose of Star Trek is to tell fun stories. And so if, if they want to do something which initially sounds like a strange credibility, uh, it doesn't, we try not to go to them and say, this is a, this is a silly idea. And instead you say, well, maybe we could do this. And, uh, and the, the writers very, very much want to get things as technically correct as possible, but they appreciate that we don't, we don't fight to them. We, mm -hmm. uh, we say, okay, if you want to do this, maybe you could uh, fire 100 photon torpedoes into it or something. I know in the Star Trek Encyclopedia, you also unearth something that must be extremely rare, Which a is? photograph of the first captain of the Enterprise. Oh, you discovered that, did yes. you? Yes, yes, that was quite a nice one. Would you tell our viewers about that one? Oh, what we did was, uh, Theoretically, the very first captain of the Enterprise was Captain Robert April, who was referred to but was never actually seen in any, any of the Star Trek movies or TV shows. Right. There was never a picture of him because he was never filmed. So we took an old photograph of, uh, of an other Star Trek actor, and we digitally scanned into our handy-dandy Macintosh a picture of Gene Roddenberry and stitched him on, onto this other person's body, and suddenly we had what we think is the first captain of the Enterprise. That is very appropriate that Gene should be the first captain of the Enterprise. Yes. Mike's books are a wonderful reference to the lore of the Star Trek universe. You know, I wouldn't want to be without them. And I know that you will really enjoy them. Now, Jim and Darla will tell you how you can get your own autographed copies of the very special books that Mike has worked on. The ultimate guides to the Star Trek universe, the Star Trek Encyclopedia, and the Star Trek Manual are now being offered on the Trader as a package. These books are used by the show's writers and crew as reference guides. Now you can get autographed copies signed by the authors of both of these incredibly detailed and accurate books for only $34.95 by calling the Trader at 1-800-SCI-FI-60. The Star Trek Encyclopedia is the definitive reference book for the Star Trek fans. This impressive the volume has been exhaustively researched and cross-referenced and features hundreds of photos and diagrams. There's over 5,000 individual entries. The Star Trek Encyclopedia is the one book that captures every fact, figure, and detail of the Star Trek saga, and it's signed by co-authors Mike and Denise Okuda. The Star Trek Manual, signed by Mike Okuda and Rick Sternbach, who will be joining me later in the show, is a meticulously detailed book which takes you on a guided tour through the USS Enterprise, from bridge to shuttle bays, from the transporter room to the crew quarters. This book provides a never-before-seen glimpse at the inner workings of the USS Enterprise 1701D. The tech manual is full of diagrams, technical schematics, the ship's plans, and it also takes a detailed look at the principles behind Star Trek's awesome technology, from phasers to warp drives to the incredible holodeck. Both the signed Star Trek manual and the signed Star Trek encyclopedia can be yours for only $34.95, an incredible price for signed copies. Make it so by calling 1-800-SCI-FI-60. Warren? When we come back, an interview with Star Trek production designer Herman Zimmerman and some insight into how Star Trek props are created from Rick Sternbach himself. Herman Zimmerman is the production designer for Star Trek Next Gen and DS9, and as such, he designs the look of the future, and thus shapes what many people imagine when they think about the future. His poster that we featured, and that's being offered again here today, was one of the most popular posters we've ever had on the show. Here's a look at our visit with Herman. You know, we're really quite proud to be offering a poster that's made of a painting of the bird of prey that you were associated with. This Could you is, tell us about this that? This is kind of an interesting coincidence. Uh, we didn't set out to do this because it was going to be in Generations and it was going to be featured this year as the Hallmark uh, Christmas ornament, but indeed it is. And uh, that that's very lucky for myself and my partner. Uh, Tom Atkin and I have a company called uh, Z Design. And we have, for the last couple of years, uh, been interested in finding artists to portray things out of the Star Trek uh, uh, bag of tricks, uh, perhaps a little more artistically than the other things that are available on the market for the fans to buy. We wanted to give them some really 
uh, fine art uh, and, and give it to them at a reasonable price. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have, with the collaboration of a fine artist uh, named Suneo Sanda, created two pieces, uh, one of which is available now and the other will be available later this year, um, uh, that we think are really fine art, and they depict the bird of prey in flight. A very beautiful piece of art, too. Very well, nice. Well, thank you. Herman, thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure talking about what you do. Thank you. It's been it's nice having you here. here. And now Darla is going to tell you how to get a beautiful signed poster based on the design work of Herman Zimmerman. Herman Zimmerman has produced Home to Quonos, featuring these magnificent Klingon birds of prey. This poster stands a grand 24 by 36 inches high and is signed by Mr. Zimmerman in striking gold ink for only $29.95. The grace and strength captured in this dynamic ship almost makes it feel as if it's going to fly right off the print. Dan Madsen, the publisher of Star Trek, the official fan club magazine, says, this Klingon bird of prey poster is one of the finest pieces of Star Trek art ever produced, and I have to agree with him. So call 1-800-SCI-FI-60, and for $29.95 plus shipping and handling, this signed print of Home to Quonos will fly into your life and hang proudly on your wall. Another one of the talented designers working on Star Trek is Rick Sternbach, and he recently dropped by to share with us some of his fascinating work. Gentleman sitting to my left is one of the most respected and esteemed prop designers in the business, and he co-authored the Next Generation Technical Manual, which we are featuring on our show today, Rick Sternbach. Rick, your brilliant work can be seen each week in Deep Space Nine and in reruns of Next Generation. Can you tell us a little bit about conceptualizing for the 24th century? Sure. We start out uh, with uh, thumbnail sketches of some of the props, uh, mm -hmm. keeping in mind uh, color and style for each mm -hmm. of the cultures. Uh, here, would uh, just uh, for example, would be a, a Federation-style scanning device. Mm -hmm. uh, we would go from this to uh, a more finished uh, drawing. Which is, I think, we have an example of one of those here. Mm -hmm. So this is like a finished... Uh, one of the doctor's devices from Deep Space Nine, mm -hmm. correct? Right, and it shows a typical Federation style, which is uh, straight lines and some curves and a certain range of colors. Now, you've also designed starships mm -hmm. and, and spaceships also. And right. I think we have a beautiful example mm -hmm. here of a Cardassian warship. What's the difference between designing, say, props and set pieces and then going into a design like this where you're challenged uh, designing a starship? It's actually just a, a matter of size. Uh, a, a starship is a much larger object, but again, we have to keep in mind style and color for each of the races. Rick, thank you so much for coming to the show today and for sharing with us some of your brilliant artwork. I've always been a fan of yours. Among the other Star Trek elements that Rick Sternbach has designed are those fearful starships operated by the Borg. And our next product is a model of the Borg starship. You know, the Borg are perhaps the most alien of all the various races seen on Star Trek. They're biomechanical symbiotes lacking any concept of individuality. Their massive and almost invincible starships were the greatest threat to the Star Trek universe, eh, other than the network sensors and the Nielsen ratings. Now, Darla, help our viewers assimilate this ship into their continuum. Hi, Captain. The most feared spacecraft in the universe is waiting to assimilate into your home, the Borg ship. This monolithic machine comes with an interior light and authentic sounds recreated from the original sound effect masters. So call 1-800-SCI-FI-60 and for just $29.95 plus shipping and handling, you can add the Borg ship to your Star Trek memorabilia collection. By ordering the Borg ship from the trader, the package will arrive in mint condition, and you don't have to sift through box after box of mutilated packages from your local toy store. This guarantees that if you're a collector, your Borg ship will arrive pristine, which makes this product a better investment opportunity. Don't go away. More Star Trek when we come back. Through this show, you've been listening to the music of Gerald Freed, noted composer of some of the most memorable music from classic Star Trek. Music from episodes such as A Muck Time, Shore Leave, and The Paradise Syndrome. We have a special signed box set of three CDs featuring Gerald's music from the original Star Trek series. Now Jim and Darla are going to tell you how you can get an autographed set of CDs signed by Gerald featuring the music you've been hearing here. 
Fans of Star Trek know how exciting and beautiful its music is. We've got a special box set signed by composer Gerald Freed, who's performed some of his gorgeous compositions here on the Sci-Fi Trader. With these three CDs, you can experience the music of Star Trek to its fullest. These CDs can be yours for just $39.95 by calling 1-800-SCI-FI-60. All of the tracks are from the original masters to bring out the best sound available. This signed slipcase set has music from such classic Star Trek episodes as Amok Time, The Doomsday Machine, and Shore Leave. Included in this Sci-Fi Trader exclusive package is the classic Star Trek main title theme and music from the pilot episode Where No Man Has Gone Before, both by Alexander Courage. You get all of this wonderful music and these great liner notes, including these exciting pictures and vital episode information for just $39.95 plus shipping and handling. You get all three original Star Trek CDs in a special slipcase box signed by the composer, Gerald Freed. If you'd like any of the products that we featured on today's show, including great Sci-Fi Channel hats, shirts, and watches, just give us a call at 1-800-SCI-FI-60. That's 1-800-724-3460. Everything ordered on the trader comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now here's a quick review of what we had on the show. Star Trek creator signed by author David Alexander. This is the only authorized biography of Gene Roddenberry, and it's a first edition in hardback for just $23.95. The Star Trek Encyclopedia and the Star Trek Manual, signed by the authors, both together, yours for only $34.95. The Klingon Bird of Prey, brought to you by Star Trek production designer Herman Zimmerman, and signed by Mr. Zimmerman, yours for just $29.95. The Borg Ship, from Star Trek Next Generation, with authentic lights and sounds from the show, yours for only $29.95. And remember, the first 150 callers will receive an autographed photo of Hugh the Borg, John Del Arco, absolutely free. And the Star Trek CD package, three dynamic CDs featuring music by Gerald Freed from great Star Trek episodes and the main title theme by Alexander Courage, yours for only $39.95. For your convenience, we accept all major credit cards, personal checks, money orders, and bars of gold-pressed latinum. Now here's Warren with one final thought. In a world filled with ethnic, political, and religious differences, it's easy to let those differences become barriers, keeping us apart. But imagine what the world would be like if we looked at that diversity as a source of new knowledge, opportunity, and mutual support. That's the message from all the stories in Star Trek. I'm Warren James, and this is a Sci-Fi Trader, and we'll enjoy our diversity again soon, in the future. And now, here's Gerald Freed with an encore performance of his music from Star Trek. A mad genius plans to conquer the world with his bizarre experiments. Bela Lugosi stars as the mad Dr. Zorka in all 12 chapters of The Phantom Creeps, a Sci-Fi Channel serial thriller, Saturday beginning at 2 p.m. Eastern. He's just your average super-powered high schooler. My Secret Identity, next.